Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're going to be trying a new brush. You guys know I love styling my hair with brushes, especially the Demon brush. So today I found a new brush at Sally Beauty. I don't really know what it's called. Doesn't really have a name. Doesn't really have a logo. I don't really have anything. If you guys know what this brush is called, please let me know in the comments below. But I found it and it was just so intriguing the way it looked and just like the design of it was very eye captivating so I wanted to style my hair with it today so I'm very excited so I'm gonna start off with spritzing my hair with water like I always do and I kind of just break it through my hair as you can see I'm always like pre detangling first moment of truth I always start by detangling my hair definitely not as sturdy as my diamond brush I noticed but okay not too bad I wonder, like, ooh, let me not get ahead of myself, but I'm gonna go in with the Sultanicals Kinky Silk Tress Milk. Haven't used this guy, but I'm really hoping this is gonna give me defined curls because I'm in the mood for some definition this week. So I'm going to start off by just raking that through like I normally do. Oh man, I should have brought a towel. I am not prepared. Look at Mio in the back. Mio, ooh, this smells like coconut oil. I don't mind it. I'm gonna take the brush and again just rake it through. Wait, this kind of feels really nice. No tugging, no pulling. So I like that. I got my towels, so now we can move on to the Aloe Berry Styling Gel. But this, by the way, is very, very nice. My hair feels really nice. I don't even feel like I need a leave-in. Mm, okay. So I'm not gonna use a leave-in conditioner today. I'm just using these two. And I'm going in with the berry gel. And I don't remember what kind of hold this is going to give me. It says it's an alcohol-free blend that gives medium hold, which keeps your hair in place so that your hair gets benefits all day, hold and moisture in one application. Okay, so it's gonna give me a medium hold. So I'm just gonna apply another little dollop of that in this section. And all of the whiteness went away from that previous product. And now is the moment of truth. I'm gonna start sectioning and I'm gonna treat this brush as if it was a diamond brush because this is typically how I would use a brush to style my hair so I'm taking it making sure I'm pulling my hair this way and I'm going to curve it just shake to activate those curls oh that's really nice I'm gonna scrunch voila oh that's beautiful I like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm repeating the same thing here. Again, just pulling the hair away from my scalp so that I don't have flat roots. And I'm twisting it. And then I am just shaking those curls to activate them. And then I'm going to give it a nice little scrunch. Ooh, okay. This is looking really nice. I'm going to scrunch them both together. One more time just to get all that extra product out. And voila. First section is done. Wow. This looks really nice. I think these two products, first and foremost, are gonna cocktail really well together. I don't see any frizz. I don't see any curl out of place. They're all holding a really nice curl, which is nice. I do think I'm going to wet plop today because it's almost seven o'clock, you guys. It's so bright. I'm literally filming in natural lighting and that's how bright it is outside, even though it's about to be seven o'clock, which is crazy. That's the only thing I like about the spring because allergies this year and literally the last year or so have been killing me i don't know what's going on but i really do think i'm gonna have a good wash and go guys what do you guys think to my hair this feels really nice like literally instantly i can feel my hair getting moisturized which is really nice because this is not a leave-in conditioner it's a hair milk so typically the old me would have stuck a leave-in conditioner under but i've learned you don't have to go crazy adding three four five six seven products if you don't want to two good products should be able to give you that wash and go and so that's why i've been exploring more with like different and cocktails so i'm taking the brush again i'm gonna just curve it like this i have more clumped on this side but i'm gonna shake them up so it can kind of just start breaking up and i'm gonna give it a scrunch same thing with the bottom section shake to activate and then we are going to scrunch voila this is nice guys i feel like this is going to be a successful wash and go by these two bottom sections we're looking really nice it's definitely reminding me of my denman brush the curls are super defined there's literally no frizz in sight so that just means that this brush is literally gliding through every single strand of hair allowing it to just cohesively turn into a curl which is exactly what we want for a successful wash and go
is all styled. I'm like trying to discreetly dry my hands over here. I have been doing a new technique with my hair that I've noticed really, really helps. Let me demonstrate because I feel like if I don't demonstrate, you guys are going to have no idea what I'm talking about. Excuse the lovely wet spot over here. We'll ignore that. It's going to dry. So when I do the front of my hair before, I used to do it like this. Let me show you guys. I am Okay, so before I used to take my brush and literally just brush it like this and then flip it back and it would be kind of raised up here at the roots as you guys can see and I think that's why my hair was falling really weird because like this part right here was just not working with me and I wasn't putting like gel here it will get like really curly and like not cohesive really like messy curly so now what I do is that I take extra product and I literally put a generous amount because the front of my hair can be very dry so I do take look I'm going back in I literally mean a generous amount of product and I smooth it down so that it looks really nice and smooth so instead of starting from here and I'm brushing it down I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna curve that brush and that's just gonna lift it up and it's gonna be so smooth at my roots so literally just take it like this curve it inwards and then I shake those curls I can even scrunch them let me just shake it out I don't know if you guys can tell, but instead of it being kind of like frizzy, all of these pelitos here in the front are smooth. And now it's going to just dry so much better. It's not going to be awkward. I figured it out. I was like, why is my hair drying so awkward? And it was just that little front part. I was brushing it downwards instead of kind of like curving it like this. So that is a little technique I wanted to share with you guys in case you guys are struggling for that front part like I have been. But nonetheless, my hair looks amazing it feels amazing I feel like this gel is gonna give me a really good hold the curls look super shiny super defined I am loving this already I have been really scoring on these wash and goals you guys this one I really do feel like it's going to be a success look how beautiful I will say this does remind me of the diamond brush like the curls are really nice and intact there is clumped curls which again reminds me of the diamond brush there's more clumpness versus stringiness only thing I don't like is that it's not it doesn't feel as sturdy as the Demon brush like this is really flexible so it has a lot of movability which is like a pro and a con at the same time because sometimes the Demon brush can be a little too hard but this one is like there's more flexibility with this one so but yeah those are like my thoughts on the brush for now I'm gonna go ahead and wet plop and I'll see you guys in the morning Hey guys, so it's the next day and this is the current status of my hair. It's actually fully dried. I did diffuse my hair last night because I wasn't comfortable wet plopping overnight. I finished at around 7 and ended up diffusing at like 9-ish. My hair was actually really, really wet so I wasn't, I don't know, I just didn't want to keep it wet for that long. It felt kind of weird against my scalp so I was just like, yeah, we're not doing that. So this is what my hair looks like. I slept with it in a pineapple, in two pineapples actually the way I normally sleep with my hair. Today we are going to separate I love the curls already I can already tell this is gonna be an amazing wash and go and it definitely gives me Denman brush vibes for sure also we're going to excuse this eye because it is very red but allergies have been kicking my butt this season so that's why my eyes are red I'm gonna go ahead and separate my curls using the OGX argan oil of Morocco dry oil I'm going to section my hair because I have so much chunky curls I'm going to section my hair and start separating in sections and that's just gonna give me so much more volume so I'm gonna spray it on my hand a couple spritz distributing amongst both hands and we're just gonna start separating these curls I want as little frizz as possible so I'm just gonna carefully take my time and start separating
my hair is now fully separated and I'm obsessed with this wash and go you guys first and foremost my hair feels so soft the curls are so defined which I knew I knew once it was dry I was like yeah this is gonna be a good wash and go so this brush not gonna lie not going to lie I am very ew it's so dirty hold on eat Joe there we go so I'm not gonna lie like this really gave me an amazing wash and go like again curls are so defined I mean there's literally no frizz and this is typically the look that I get when I'm using my diamond brush which is why I love it so freaking much and I don't know I'm like torn the only thing is like I mentioned earlier is that it is more flexible than the Denman brush and I don't like I don't know if I like that too much because it has more movability or maybe I do I don't know but I know that the curls are really really nice so if you guys have tried the Denman brush and you have tried this brush comment down below which one you like better and you guys have seen me style my hair with the Denman brush a million times so let me know which one you guys think gave me more defined curls or like does it look the same do the curls look the same I think they do like they're all springy all of the curls are accounted for it's definitely a look for sure and I'm loving it and that is all for today's video if you guys want me to try out different style of brushes to style my hair or maybe just to detangle my hair leave me a comment down below if you can leave me a link maybe it's a different style of brushes so I can do this more often if you guys liked this style of video and also let me know Know. that curly cocktail was amazing my curls feel really nice and soft but they do have a good amount of hold which is great so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye